All right, in this episode, we're going to tearing a good running bike down, removing a Kickstarter, and we talk about engine mounts uh, to have a right amount of flex, which is helps you to achieve a better cornering on your bike. And on the end, we're going to start to building it professionally back up. So I'm not going to show you how to take the bike apart. So everybody can do that. In my opinion, I will show you how to put it back together. I will also show you the parts what I'm using, the aftermarket parts, and I'm going to install it with you guys. All right, so really quick, we're gonna installing the water pump into a YZ450. So these are the parts that we're gonna use. Uh, actually, this is what came out of the engine and we're gonna be using some new parts to replace the old one. We're gonna do new seals into the water pump. I recommend you to do that and using the OEM parts. It never hurts in that case. So what you want to do is to, to have the seal always facing whatever is the liquid is, you know, so the liquid is here, so you don't want to put the seal like this. You want to have it like that. In there. I guess it's quite easy to install this. That should work. This is the other one. This is gonna facing towards to the, you know, the same same deal apply towards to the oil. It actually goes in quite easy. good so the next step is the bearing I'm gonna put the bearing in all right so putting the blade in from this side and uh, Having the little pin, putting it into the hole. Nice. We're gonna have the washer, we just keep that pin in place. Pressing it down, make sure it you know, sits nice. Good. And then close it up with that little ring. Just like that.
I actually bought the OEM uh, kickstart removing kit and apparently that uh, bushing is just not the right size. So I ended up going to a machine shop and have them making the right size for me. One of my seal didn't came in in time, that's why I didn't show you guys installing the cover.
Well, this is where our project 450FX begins. I think this part tells you a lot about what we are about to do or going to do. These are titanium foot pegs, half, weights half as much as the stock one. Titanium pins. Also, these are the foot pack mounts and I drilled this out to saving weight. What more, I removed all of this area over here. It was like this, or straight across before. So I removed all that to saving weights. I saved about almost a half pound. <laughs> it was huge. And I also drilled over here a hole. So this is, uh, if you worry about uh, my safety not being supported over here. This is the one which is holding the foot bags. Uh, and these are for the stand. And there is a bolt over here for the stand. So this is just dead weight pretty much over here. So yeah, very excited about it. I'm telling you, very excited about it. So let's get it started. The way this thing looks, it's just so good. Christ.
Okay, let's talk a little bit about uh, engine mounts, flexibilities, and weight. Uh, this is the upper mount for the YZ, and uh, this is the mount what uh, goes in front. Uh, these are weights, one pound, the two together, and these are kind of weights, nothing. Literally, you don't really feel the weights. So, uh, I'm gonna switch these. I'm gonna switch the steel to carbon fiber, and uh, this cost $150. And what's good about these, uh, the flexibility. So it flexes the same way uh, as steel, which is a uh, 200 gigapascal. I probably didn't pronounce it right, but the number is, you know, that's what you gotta go for. So the flexibility for the carbon fiber and the steel is about the same. For its hardness, this is five times stronger than steel. But for its flexibility, uh, it's about the same. So since this surface is cut out compared to this one, it will flex more. Why I'm saying that? Because we want to have the bike to be more stable and we want to have less vibration go through, go from the engine to the frame and all the way up to your handlebar. So let me just walk you through the torque spec really quick. Uh, the M8, 25, 25, 25, 25. These are the upper engine man bolts, uh, the M10. Uh, these are uh, 35 and uh, these are 40. So 40, 35, 25, 25, 25, 25. That's how it is. You don't want to over tighten because again, we are shooting for flexibility. Maybe you can go under a little bit if, it, if you find it too rigid. And that's up to your preferences. I'm just gonna go with these numbers for now.